have to come out from the opening tip with an increased amount of intensity and just being prepared. You know, you have the advantage of coming off the bench that you know you can, you can kind of sit there, you can observe, you can see kind of how the game's going and react accordingly. And I'm not going to have that advantage this year, so you kind of just have to come out and dictate how the game's going to go from the start. Uh, did you? Um did you find yourself really comfortable coming off the bench last year? Is, is this like a big, a big difference for you? Uh, well, coming into Villanova, I had never, never come off the bench before, uh -huh. so that the first, you know, half a year or so, I think was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, last by last year, I was like in the groove of things, you know. That was just kind of how it was. It, it'll probably be a little nerve wracking, you know, the first few games, um, but nothing I haven't done before, I guess. So. Uh, and what did you work on this year, Caroline, to get better? Which, what's the areas of the game you're hoping to stride in? I think that my biggest areas of improvement that I've been working on in the offseason have just been working on consistency in all areas of my game, especially you know my shooting percentage, um, taking care of the ball, just being able to be you know, kind of a more... Um, Sorry. A steady player? Yeah, a steady, steady player. Steady like then. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine other, apparently exactly. said to be steady. The other yeah. players can, you know, when things break down, I'm not breaking down either. And just being able to be more calm. Of a soccer player, really? Tell me about, you know, it seemed like for a while you guys maybe wouldn't be a package deal, and then it ended up that you, that you were. Tell me, I guess from your perspective, it wasn't even going to be basketball. Um, well, we were both big soccer players. It wasn't just me. Um, I think I was definitely more into it than Caroline was. Um, but initially we kind of thought, you know, I'll play soccer, she'll play basketball, hopefully at the same school. And then I kind of realized I don't even want to play soccer in college. <laughs> Um, it's just a whole different uh, dynamic and everything, and I just realized I couldn't live without basketball. Um, so yeah, then I guess around our freshman or sophomore year in high school, we decided sophomore year in high school we decided we were definitely gonna play basketball together at the same school. Um, what would you work on? Uh, you know, you're, you're known as a, a, an excellent defensive player. Uh, what did you work on and, and to make strides in? Um, definitely my offensive skills. Um, like you said, I'm more known for my defense. And while I believe defense wins championships, you also can't win a game without scoring points. So um, I've definitely worked on being more offensive threat and just asserting my dominance on that end of the floor. And what have you seen so far? What, what does it look like to you that you you know what, I'm going to be able to show this now in a game. What it is. Um, I think that my release has gotten a lot quicker um, on my shot. I've been working more on my, my mid-range game. Um, but I think just staying consistent and taking smart shots, not forcing anything, and uh, just kind of taking what's handed to me. Um, I definitely work on my mid-range jump shot. It's kind of my bread and butter, uh, as Harry Freda puts it. Um, I just need to be more consistent with it and not be afraid to shoot it when I'm open or, or recognize when I'm open. I kind of have these two to tell me when I'm on my back to the basket, like turn around and shoot it, you're wide open. So uh, definitely my mid-range jump shot, uh, posting up more. We've had a few setbacks with Emily Learison are out, so I have to post up a little bit more. Just being confident in the post and the mid-range is what I've been on. Are they hard to tell apart or no? No, not at all. <laughs> gotcha. I knew that answer, but yeah. just in case. Um, and uh, what, what do you sense from, from this team? Uh, you know, you graduated Devin Kane, you know, so that's obviously a, a big personality of the team. Uh, what, what are some of the challenges you see right now? If you guys can get through this, then it will be a big, it will be a big success. Um, I think if we all put aside our personal agendas and uh, put aside our personal you know, just attitudes or not attitudes, but characters, and we come together as a unit. Will will be great if we can just all reach a common goal. I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm.